welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from my kitchen. So you guys saw my opening clip. I had my baseline appointment for our frozen embryo transfer, or FET, as us in the IVF world call it. So yeah, I have my frozen embryo transfer scheduled for October 12, 2020. I'm so excited, Jadesh and I are both so excited. Yeah, I won't have a ton to report for at least another couple of weeks, but my baseline appointment went well this morning. My nurse just called, lining is good, levels are good. So I start estrogen tomorrow and I'll be on that for a couple weeks. Then I'll go in, I think October 6th, make sure everything is good, my lining is nice and thick. I start those super fun progesterone and oil shots. That'll be interesting, but at least this time, you know, instead of the ERA, this will actually be worth it. Like the shots will be for our baby. I think that's all I have for right now, but I'll catch up with you guys in a couple weeks when we have our next appointment and that like the fun stuff starts. So I'm very excited. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Happy October. Today is October 2nd. I have my Sanderson sisters shirt on, which I absolutely love. And I have these big joy my socks. <laughs> I have these cute little um, pumpkin socks on. I love fall and I love October. This is my favorite month. Tomorrow's actually my 28th birthday, which is just beyond me so crazy I feel like I'm getting old which I know is not old but just like every day I get closer to 30 and I'm like whoa time is just going by too fast quick FET update um, I just booked my appointment for October 6 at 10 a.m. so I'll be going in for my lining check and if all is good there then I'll be starting progesterone the next day which is so exciting FET is still scheduled for October 12 and I also just ordered my medication which comes on October 6 I have enough for now like I already have my estrogen I have some crinone and progesterone too but needed to order more because I am gonna get pregnant and I will need the extra medication so um, yeah I'm still really excited I think I'm gonna add into this vlog my birthday tomorrow and just what we do tomorrow and vlogging a little bit of that like I tell you guys all the time my life entails more than just trying to conceive I have many other things outside of that that I want to still share with you guys and also you know record for memory's sake so hope you guys enjoy that part too but just wanted to give you a quick update and uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow for my birthday i did want to show you guys i did my nails for my birthday and also for october you know it's spooky season so i thought these were perfect and super cute i love the little sparkly one these are from red aspen they're press on nails so i just did them at home and this is the color ali's black tie affair I always get my press on nails from Red Aspen and they're really good quality. Oh, that looks nice. I totally look match for you. You look handsome. Thanks. Here's my birthday outfit. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that you have there? <laughs> Whoa, that looks My different. My beautiful birthday gift. Who gave you that? I don't know, some hot guy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do I know him? I don't know. <laughs> does it match my outfit? I think so. It goes well? It does and it doesn't. It's like a nice offset. Mm. You gotta get a close up of me? Yeah. Old me? <laughs> At 28, this is what I look like in all my glory. And these are my beautiful flowers from Chizesh. He got it specially made with sunflowers because he knows I love sunflowers. And my balloon, balloons. <laughs> I still will never forget the first time we saw it. The past day. Mm -hmm. When they made it? Mm -hmm. i never seen anything like that before. I was bamboozled. Hi guys, I'm sweating. We just got back in the car. We just finished eating. We just got a pumpkin cream cold brew, which we've never had. Jitesh just took a sip, but he didn't tell me what it tastes like. And then I got a caramel apple cider with extra caramel. You guys say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. I say caramel. Lord, you're gonna spill if I go. 
Mm -hmm. That's sick. Because it's cold brew and it's it's black coffee. Like you can't. It's not going to be sweet. I told you. I don't even taste the pumpkin. That's the whole point. But my caramel apple cider is delicious. Really, no, I don't want that. Just try. It's good. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's sweet. You like anything sweet? <laughs> it's good though. Tastes like a nice apple juice. It is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Today is October 6th, Tuesday. Um, I just had my lining check this morning. My lining was 9.11 millimeters, so good to go to move forward with the transfer. I'm just waiting for a call from my nurse on instructions of when to start progesterone. I don't think I start today. I think I'll start tomorrow morning, if I'm not mistaken, so. But yeah, the appointment went well, and thankfully, like last time I was in there, for my baseline, I was in there for 50 minutes past my appointment time before I was even seen. Today it was just like in and out super quick. So I was thankful for that. I'm just so thankful. Like I see so many women like getting ready for transfer and stuff and then their lining is not thick enough and they have to take more medicine and it extends their time to do their transfer. And I'm just so, so, so thankful. Like God is so good that things are going well. I can't explain it, but I have the best feeling about this transfer. Like I feel like God has given me so much peace and like reassurance that everything's gonna be okay. And I can't explain it, but I think that's kind of how God is. You can't explain it, but I just feel like our miracle is coming. Like I really, really feel like this is our time and that we're gonna have a baby. I really do. Oh man, I can't explain it, I really can't. But it's just a peace that passes all understanding. I have just so much hope and so much positivity and a positive feeling towards, towards this transfer and this cycle. Um, this is our fourth cycle of IVF technically. I never really considered a frozen embryo transfer a cycle, but it is. So we've done three egg retrievals now. This is our third transfer. Just to give you like a backstory, so with our first round of IVF, we didn't get any embryos, but we had a morula on day five, so we transferred that, which did not result in a pregnancy. Second round of IVF, we didn't have any embryos, not even a morula, we had nothing. Um, third round of IVF, was where things got a lot better. We did a microdose Lupron protocol. Although we only had four eggs fertilized, three of them made it. So we transferred one, we did a fresh transfer and we had a blast on day five, which was incredible. Um, it didn't result in a pregnancy though, unfortunately. And then we have two frozen and babies left. So we are transferring one embryo on Monday, October 12th and the other one is still frozen. Um, so I'm just praying, praying, praying so hard that just everything continues to go well. I'm so thankful. You know, it's small milestones, right? You have to keep meeting. So today was one of them, so it went really well. The next appointment's transfer, so I'm just praying that the embryo thaws and you know expands or hatches and does whatever it needs to do to get nice and snuggly in there. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but I just wanted to share that good news with you. Um, I'm so thankful. I'm just beyond thankful, beyond thankful. So keep praying for us guys and I'll keep you posted. Morning guys, today, whoa, my voice. I have not talked yet this morning. I have to do my first PIO shot at 8 a.m. So I'm just about to prep it. I feel like I'm forgetting everything that I need to do. Let me warm this up. So I'm gonna put this my vitro pack on my butt uh, to ice it and then I have um, another one of these in the microwave because you can also heat them up and that's what I'll put on afterwards. The second time. The stuff? Yeah. Hi 
Hi guys. Today is October 12th. And what day is it, Bean? Prize day. <laughs> Prize day. I have my shirt on. It says, after this we're getting fries. So you know what that means. It's transfer day. So exciting. So we're here at the clinic. There it is. How are you feeling, babe? I feel good. There's just no pressure. Like, we just... Me too. You know, last time we transferred, I was so anxious and so nervous because we didn't really know if we even had any embryos or like what was going to happen. This time, I just feel so at peace. I'm not even really nervous or anything. I just feel... I just feel good. I feel really good about it. And there's nothing like... In this journey, there's nothing you can do no. to make the results better. Zero control. So like, if you're like a better person or like you're in the best place of your relationship or like, you know, or like, your life yeah, or you kind whatever. of have to be perfect, right? Like going into it so that the outcome is good. All of that really doesn't have any factor in it. It's like, yeah. you just got to be strong, go through it and, you know, hope for the best and be hopeful. You know, that's, I think that's all we can do. So. Yeah. And, you know, of course, God is on our side and yeah. he's going to take care of us, whatever the outcome is or anything. But I'm just going into this feeling very positive and uplifted. And I'm just thankful because I know the peace that I have only comes from God. Other than that, I'd be a nervous, horrible wreck. Yeah. So, And we'll always be, I, I think, thankful, you know, for, for God allowing us to do this in the first place. Every yeah. chance we get to do it. Because not everybody gets this yeah. opportunity. Yeah, you know? we're, we're blessed. You know? I'm very and thankful. Sometimes it's not about the end result, but the journey, you know, and you have to be thankful for that. Yeah. While you're going through it, whether it's good or bad, at least you get to have the journey. You get to grow from it. You get to learn from it. So I feel like that's where we're at right now. Lots of growing, learning, and um, hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Yeah. I just love that we're matching today. I purposefully matched, matched with, with me. <laughs> this is not like some, just so you guys know, it's not some magical thing that happens. No. I know what she's wearing, and then... I always want to, you know, since she's trying to... We always try to coordinate. Yes. Or he coordinates I coordinate with, with me. you, yes. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go in in like 15 minutes. My bladder is pretty much full. I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. And after this, we're going to go get some Krispy Kreme. Get some McDonald's french fries, of course, because you have to. Sounds like a good day. It's a perfect day for me. That's, that's like my dream that's day. Transferring dream day. Krispy Kreme, McDonald's. That's what I asked her this morning. As soon as I saw her, I was like, so, are you excited to transfer, to, <laughs> to eat fries, or to eat Krispy Kreme? I couldn't decide. <laughs> Which one's It needed to like, be a combo. She was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be a combo. Yeah, that's what's happening today. Just a casual day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, I'll do a number two, please. Number two, large with Coke I'm about to get my French fries. and um, Yo, sweet and sour hair. sauce. Number two, large with a Coke with sweet and sour sauce. Yes, and the fries made to order, please. Hot and fresh. Okay. And, be fresh. Okay, thank you. And then um, I'll do um, a number ten. Spicy nuggets. Spicy nuggets. 
Secure the bag. You want to check the bag? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she was very kind. She literally like paused. McChicken, six piece nugget, ten piece nugget, two fries, and your sandwich. Is that everything? Yeah, it's everything and ranch. And don't judge us for the order because that's what we eat the whole day pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we're not having any yeah, other food. Yeah, this is okay? not like one of three meals or something. Okay, guys? Don't judge. Anyway, it's transfer day. It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not though. It's, it's freaking Monday. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I, I thought was it like, was Friday. Was, no, it's that's not. so bad. This is not Friday. No, I meant like F. I can't even. How do you spell Fry? F R Y. What do you say? F R Y day. day. Yeah. But it's actually Monday. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday. Oh gosh. I tried. Anyway, it's got my French fries. My salty french fries to help the end baby stick. Stick, baby, stick. Stick, baby. Tell what? <laughs> You're reading all the comments. Your sweatshirt is everything. Everything. Is and? Everything. What else? And, and well, <laughs> sticky vibes. Sticky vibes. I was like, this baby is, dust. I was like, is this a cult? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like their own Listen, lingo. Listen, <laughs> what Janesh doesn't realize is he is fully a part of that cult, okay? The IVF infertility cult. I do, say, learn the lingo. I, I do say catch the vibes, but I guess I should say sticky dust vibes. Yeah, it's like sticky dust or baby dust. Baby dust. Or, you know? Yeah, no, I know. Now you I, got get, it. I get it. It's just, it's so funny how every single person has something in, something in there, you know? That's funny. <laughs> Hello. You're bringing in the other goods. Yeah, can you just chill out? I secured, I just, the, secured the bag. I didn't show this. Mmm! It doesn't look so nice because I don't have like a pretty assortment, but we just wanted pumpkin. Mm. 